Hey college football fans, happy day. Why happy? Well, it's beautiful out today, life is good, but we've got 40 days until college football kickoff on August 27th, which makes me leap for joy, and yeah, that was a leap, but also say, holy shpleep, I have very little time to get my conference previews finished, so I've got three out. But enough about that, this is Walk It Off with Chappie. This is episode 49, I believe. We're almost on number 50, and <clears throat> we've got media days all around us. The Big 12 had their media days last week. The SEC had theirs, or has theirs today right now, I believe. And it got me thinking, if I was to pick four representatives to just a general college football media days, who would I take? So <clears throat> I'll give you my four. We're gonna start with my quarterback, my guy, Sam Hartman from Wake Forest, a four-year starter, actually five-year if you wanna get technical. Started to really appreciate and admire him when he was on QB1 on Netflix, which by the way, Netflix, you need to put that season back on your queue. Um, don't really want to watch season three. Give me the Sam Hartman season. So he's a leader. He's been a leader since he stepped on campus there. He's a, a gamer, a player, very well spoken just somebody that is easy to gravitate to and a great representative of our sport. So second guy from the University of Texas, running back, slash guy, return specialist, just a great All-American, a great all-around guy, great player, B. John Robinson. I mean, the dude is a specimen, so when he walks up to that podium, he's gonna command respect, not just by his physique, and the fact that he just looks like an All-American football player, but very entertaining personality as well. Just a likable dude, so he's my second guy. My third guy, gonna go over to the defensive side, Will Anderson from the University of Alabama. If you haven't seen his My Body is an Engine uh, metaphor during the college football playoff last year, go and look it up on YouTube. Again, Will Anderson, My Body is My Engine. The dude also is just a specimen, but a great representative of his team, his sport, a guy who wants to get better. He, he's very, very good. He's excellent at what he does, but he wants to continue to improve for himself, but more so for his team, and seems like he truly loves playing the game of college football. I don't peg him in that category of somebody who is a holdout, somebody who is gonna ask for the bills. He wants the thrills. So my fourth guy, gonna go special teams, Adam Corsack, punter for Rutgers. So he's the Aussie who, when Rutgers initially did not qualify for a bowl game last year with a five and, second, five and seven regular season record, when there was a cancellation and Rutgers was invited last minute, he was on his way back to, I believe, Melbourne, Australia, got the word and was so excited, he took an immediate U-turn, came back and was geeked to play in that bowl game, the Tax Slayer Gator Bowl, still call it the Gator Bowl, with his Rutgers Scarlet Knights. Um, so truly loves the game of college football. He's returning for a sixth season this year. Again, just a very magnetic personality, somebody who just you want on your team, you want on your squad. He's a, a great locker room presence, um, somebody that as a coach, as a fellow player, as a representative of your university, your school, your sport, this is one of the faces that you want to have there. So again, Chappie's Media Day representatives, I'm going Sam Hartman, Bijan Robinson, Will Anderson, Adam Corsack, and an honorable mention, somebody that we're going to keep just in case one of these four guys can't make it, I'm going to go Jared Casey, a walk-on at the University of Kansas, number 47 from Plainville, Texas, I'm sorry, Plainville, Kansas, sorry Kansas, uh, he only had one D1 scholarship offer, and that was from KU, and he said, you know what, I'm going to take it because I want to play college football. I want to play big-time college football. That was his dream, and he got his shot in the big spotlight of Darrell K. Royal Memorial Stadium in overtime, caught the game-winning two-point conversion pass from his quarterback, Daniels, and Kansas got the uh, upset win over the Texas Longhorns. Sorry, UT fans, but when credit is due, you're gonna give it, and Jared Casey, again, is a wonderful representative of this wonderful sport. I'm Chappie, I hope you enjoy my representation of college football. Keep following, thanks for subscribing. 
send the word, spread the message, and love life, everybody.